Hey guys, in this video, I will discuss refrigerator evaporator coil partially frosted and some frequently asked questions. Looking at the evaporator coils in your refrigerator, you may notice frost formation on them. Although this isn't a situation to be worried about, a fridge should be cold. However, the effects kick in when this frost builds up to uncomfortable levels. So, you might wonder why frost attacks this component of your fridge, covering it. Welcome to HomeGuideInfo.com. Disclaimer, this video is only for educational purposes. We don't provide any expert advice. Without further ado, let's get into this. What causes refrigerator evaporator coils to freeze up? Several factors can create the presence of frost on evaporator coils. From faulty defrost thermostats, damaged defrost timers, worn gaskets, and a host of other joint problems, the evaporator coils of your fridge can quickly freeze up. So, here are the most common causes. Number 1. Faulty defrost timers. The defrost timer on your refrigerator works by turning on the fridge's defrost heater many times a day. This happens so that the defrost heater would melt any frost deposited on the evaporator coils during usage. So, when the defrost timer gets damaged, frost grows on the evaporator coils unchecked, leading to freezing these coils. Going forward, the defrost timer advances into the defrost cycle to carry out its function optimally. So, the defrost heater would remain dormant without the proper advancement of the defrost timer. Number 2. Worn Door Gaskets Door gaskets act as shields to prevent moist air from entering the refrigerator compartment. So, if door gaskets are torn and not functioning correctly, moist air seeps into the refrigerator. Consequently, this air condenses on the refrigerator evaporator coils, causing them to freeze up. So, if humid air constantly seeps into your fridge, the evaporator coils of your fridge freeze up swiftly. So, the defrost cycle of your fridge becomes helpless here, unable to tackle the fast accumulation of frost. Number 3. Damaged Defrost Thermostat The defrost thermostat of your refrigerator inspects the temperature of your evaporator coils and instructs the heater to take action. More clearly, when frost accumulates on the evaporator coils of your fridge, the defrost thermostat senses the dropping temperature and stimulates the defrost heater to melt the ice. However, if the defrost thermostat is faulty, the defrost heater won't turn on. Consequently, there would be an accumulation of ice on the fridge's evaporator coils. Number 4. Damaged Defrost Heater The defrost heater of your refrigerator produces heat to melt any frost on the evaporator coils of your fridge. This activity occurs several times daily when the defrost thermostat detects low temperatures. However, if the defrost heater isn't functioning correctly, it fails to produce enough heat to deal with the accumulating frost. So, the result is the freezing of the fridge's evaporator coils. How much should frost be on evaporator coils? Most inexperienced users of refrigerators conclude that it's normal for frost to form on refrigerator components since it functions to produce a chilling effect. However, frost constitutes a problem for refrigerators, therefore, you should always deal with this occurrence squarely. There should be as little frost as possible on the evaporator coils of your refrigerator. This means that as soon as you notice its accumulation on your fridge's evaporator coils, you should take action. First, however, ensure to inspect for a while to understand if the defrost cycle of your fridge and its accompanying components are correctly working. Also, understand that minimal amounts of frost may not harm your fridge. Nonetheless, huge depositions would mess with the functionality of your refrigerator. So, watch for telling signs of frost accumulation and jump into action once you capture specific abnormality. In the end, it may be a simple problem that you can resolve on your own. Consequently, a frosted evaporator coil isn't a good sign. Generally, a frost-free refrigerator is something we should all desire and work towards. Refrigerator Evaporator Coil Location When your fridge does not get as cold as you desire, you sense there's a fault somewhere. For example, there may be some frost on the evaporator coil, so you need access to the coil to fix it. You can find your refrigerator's evaporator coils behind your fridge's freezer compartment. This component has a similar look to the radiator. How do I keep my refrigerator coils from freezing? To prevent frost from forming on the evaporator coils of your fridge, you should keep an eye open for the subtle signs that indicate the gradual freezing of these components. These signs include reduced cooling capacity and high electricity consumption. Subsequently, this is feasible because this phenomenon does not occur at once, so taking action from the start helps to prevent eventual damage. On another note, proper maintenance of your refrigerator and its components also prevents the accumulation of ice on your refrigerator's coils. To a large extent, evaporator coils of fridges get frozen due to damage to other parts of the refrigerator, such as defrost heaters, timers, door gaskets, and thermostats. So, properly maintaining these components would also prevent this problem. Alright, folks, that's all in the video. See you in the next one. If you want to read a blog post, you can visit our website, a link is in the description. Please like, share, subscribe, and help us to reach a new audience and grow our channel.